So this vessel is an X uh, seismic vessel, has huge uh, internal volume, usually because they have a huge enclosed garage on the back here to handle all the seismic equipment. This particular vessel is already ice classed. It was built to work up in the Barents Sea, up north of Alaska, the White Sea, um, and is currently for sale in Florida. And we've done this concept to show what it can be done to turn into an expedition vessel. Um, the foredeck here has been enclosed uh, so the crew can work in harsh conditions. We've added bridge wings onto the bridge here for navigation and ice, and you've got this nice sunroom for guests here. You have lots and lots of space for owner and VIP cabins here, and guest cabins along this deck. Uh, huge overhead here for lounge and, and dining as well, and then the crew is on this deck here. Down the back here, you have masses of space inside this garage for swimming pools and uh, viewing decks and, and helicopter hangars and uh, space for a large scale helicopter and large scale tenders here. On this design I've had the owner's cabin and VIP cabin up on either side here, large full length wi windows, um, kind of a 180 degree view out either side, uh, quite you know away from the main exhaust plenum and ventilation plenums which are here. So it should be uh, pretty well vibration free, not vibration free, but low vibration, low noise as well. And then easy access down here to the main living areas, which is, you know, probably a 15, 16 foot ceiling in here for your dining room and your main lounge area. And then access all the way up to these other areas and access through companionways here up to the forward viewing lounge here. And of course you've got outside viewing areas here. The sun deck up here hot tub, pool, another hot tub down the back here, and of course access to the helicopter. This existing structure is, is on the boat already, this large garage here, which once again is used to house all the seismic equipment and then they tow the seismic array from the stern here. Um, the swim platform has been added on the back and, and some fashion plates here just to make the profile look a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more sleek. But you can see it's just got acres and acres of room here for development into whatever the owner's requirements are. Uh, I, you could put a helicopter hangar athwart chips here with a, a retractable elevator. You've got access here into the tenders from the, from the main garage deck here. Um, and this again is the dining room and main lounge area. Uh, you've got owner and VIP P cabins up here and guest cabins here along the main deck level. So this vessel has almost an ice-breaking bow on it. A lot of these uh, expedition vessels that are ice class, they don't actually have a breaking bow, but this has the cutaway forefoot that um, continues under the waterline here for riding up onto the ice and using the ship's weight and forward momentum to lay down on the ice and split it as they steam along. Um, of course, this front section here has been added uh, to enclose the foredeck. And uh, you can you can see there's just a mass of volume here. Uh, lots of spaces to be developed here and here and these two deck levels here, inside here. Um, really acres of real estate to work with. 